sky, 65 degrees. The Bravo Italiano Festival gets underway this Friday, runs through the weekend. They're going to crown a Miss Italia. Ray Canale will perform, and I can't... I'm, I'm angry that I'm going to miss Ray Canale because he's an excellent performer. Great Italian food will be enjoyed by all. It's going to be a wonderful thing. Our affiliate is WWNY in Watertown. Ray Canale happening. Watertown, New York's Bravo Italiano Festival. It starts tomorrow. Our thanks to them and to WWNY-TV. Mark's at Universal Studios in Hollywood getting ready for tonight's MTV Awards. And you're up awfully early if you're going to stay up late tonight. Yes, Good morning, I Mark. Sure am. I'm, I'm living the rock star life. Ray Canale, by the way, is going to be singing at the uh, Watertown Bravo Italiano Festival. He will not be at the MTV Awards tonight, mm. and it's our loss. We're going to show you some of the categories, some of the nominees coming up in about 15 minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 
He says, hey, shut up. I'll take care of this. He goes on the Social Security office. He says, sir, my name is Angelo Mataraz. I lost my car. Could you help me, please? He says, Angelo, relax. Open your shirt. He says, you see the way there? That proves you're 65. You got the checks coming Monday. He says, thank you. He goes home to his wife and he says, Bafa. What the hell that means? <laughs> So I went down there. I opened my shirt. They saw the white hair. We got the checks coming Monday. She said, you goddamn fool. Why didn't you drop your pants? You're going to have disability. <laughs> the teacher says, kids, I'm new here. It's a history class. Tell me who said it the year was said. Shoot a few months as the old gray head. Let's spare your country's flag, she said. Tell me who said it here was said. Nobody makes a move. 20 minutes later, we're in the back of a Japanese kid. He raised his hand. She said, you know it? He said, yes, it was Barbara Freighty, 1863. She says, wow. She said, you're right. You want to know something? You made a fool out of these American students. You can take the whole week off. The Japanese kid starts walking out. Way in the back, somebody hollers, screw the Japanese! And the teacher says, who said that? He says, Harry Truman, 1945. <laughs>
checkup. He says, tell me, he says to the patient, do you have any trouble in the bathroom at night? He says, doctor, no, at 3 a.m. every morning, 3 a.m. right on the button. He says, that's terrific. He says, as a matter of fact, doctor, you won't believe this. The Lord opens a bathroom light for me every morning at 3 a.m. He says, really? The doctor says, this guy's a cuckoo. He calls his wife. He says, your husband's checkup came out terrific. What the hell is he talking about? The Lord's opening the light for him at 3 a.m. She says, my God, he's peeing in the fridge again. <laughs> He says, da 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 do 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 da 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 doctor. No, I want to be working. Get the hell out of here. I don't want him to know I'm working. You think it's easy getting money from this chairman? I forgot the joke. What the hell was that? You know what to do with those papers, don't you? I got the joke. Oh yeah, the guy stutters. I don't know about you people back there, but I'm killing them up here. <laughs> anyway, he says, the, the, the doctor, I have pains. The doctor gives him a checkup, and he calls him back, and he says, Ralph, I must tell you the truth. You have prostate problems, and I must operate. So the guy says, suppose you don't operate. He says, you're going to pee like you talk. <laughs> He says, ha, 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 how much? She says, $200, you can have anything you want. He says, ah, 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 anything? She says, yes, anything you want for $200. He says, pa, 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 paint my house. <laughs> Jewish man in a nursing home in Florida. His two sons get up. And Sal says, Sid, today's past birthday. What are we going to do? He's dying. He's old. He's crippled. Sid says, Sal, don't worry. We'll send down a lady of the evening. He says, you crazy? This could be fatal. He says, you don't understand. Forget the sex. She'll rub his back. She'll comb his hair. She'll dress him up. He says, good idea. They send this girl down 2,000 miles on a plane. She knocks on the nursing room door. He says, come in. <laughs> Are you Mr. Shapiro? He says, yes. <laughs> Mr. Shapiro, I'm from New York. My name is Joyce. I came here to give you super sex. He says, I'll take the soup. <laughs> 